good morning student uh, in subject structure analysis part 1 we start our new method that is the cauchy golden first theorem okay now <coughs> here i take one figure in this figure we can see that one elastic body is given and this elastic body is subjected to number of forces and after this given number of forces act on this elastic body respect to number of del1 del2 del3 and del number uh, number of n number of deflection will occur in this uh, elastic body okay here we apply cauchy coulomb theorem number 1 okay now our statement of cauchy coulomb theorem uh, what we can say first theorem or theorem number 1 okay when force is act on this elastic body okay elastic system displacement will occur in direction of forces again i'm repeating you when force is act on this elastic system or elastic body displacement will occur in direction of forces then value of this displacement del or we can say delta is equal to partial derivative of strain energy to partial derivative of load okay strain uh, deflection is equal to partial derivative of strain energy with respect to the given number of force okay now next what is the full form the, uh, of this term first p is equal to our force that is act on elastic body delta is equal to deflection displacement due to given number of forces u is equal to our total strain energy and we here find out slope also an equation of slope with respect to this elastic body is equal to partial derivative of strain energy with respect to moment okay that means if moment apply on elastic body then slope is induced and when we apply force on elastic body deflection will occur okay now one by one what is the full form of this term m is equal to our moment application at point theta is equal to slope and u is equal to our total strain energy okay now the next theory first strain energy okay now what is strain energy okay if any elastic body if any elastic system subjected to external force and due to this external force our given elastic body will deform okay that means dimension change in our elastic body when we remove this forces when we remove this uh, number of forces from elastic body our elastic system our elastic body regain its position but application and after removal of this loading there will be some energy stored in a body and this energy is known as strain energy and remember that this will be or uh, this thing will be happen within elastic limit if load is act beyond elastic limit then strain energy is not induced at the time compulsive uh, permanent failure will be occur in object in our system this will be happen only for within elastic limit okay and uh, application and after removal of load the energy stored in a body it is known as strain energy okay now equation of cauchy golden first theorem first we find out delta delta is equal to limit of 0 to l m by ei partial derivative of moment with respect to load into dx and delta we find out m meter or mm then we find out theta theta is equal to limit of 0 to l m by ei and del m by del mx we write down or del del m dash some reference book refer del mx or some reference book refer del ms and unit of this theta is in given radian and uh, we can write also in theta uh, degree okay now use of cauchy golden theorem first okay when we use this theorem it is used in structure analysis to find out deflection and slope but which type or uh, in structure analysis okay one word in elastic structure okay and this elastic structure is subjected to concept of strain energy and one important thing when we analysis the beam with cauchy golden first theorem the support are not yielding and temperature is constant in particular type of structure if our support are yielding and temperature is not constant then this method is not applicable 
ओके दिस मेथड इज एप्लीकेबल फॉर फाइंड आउट स्लोप एंड डिफ्लेक्शन फॉर इलास्टिक स्ट्रक्चर विच यूज द कंसेप्ट ऑफ स्ट्रेन एनर्जी नॉट फॉर यूल्डिंग ऑफ सपोर्ट एंड नॉट फॉर टेम्परेचर चेंजेस ओके नाउ वी स्टार्ट अवर फर्स्ट एग्जाम्पल नाउ इन फर्स्ट एग्जाम्पल अगेन हियर I take one overhanging beam, okay, and this overhanging beam subjected to load that is point load three kilo newton. This method is different from Macaulay's than moment area and conjugate. There are some rule of conjugate. Uh, there are some rule of this uh, Cassegrain first theorem that I will explain at time of calculation. Okay, now determine the vertical deflection. Determine the vertical deflection free end in overhanging beam. As um E I is constant and using Cassegrain theorem, Cassegrain method. Okay, now first step, the point where we find out deflection load is given three kilo newton. Okay, always you remember that when we find out deflection, the given load we assume at a P. Okay, so here three kilo newton we assume as P. Now we find out support reaction for this overhanging beam A. B here. This is B point. Okay. First of all, write down here taking moment. Okay. Right here, taking moment about C. Okay. About A. Sorry. Now P is given. First, anti-clockwise moment is equal to clockwise moment. Our support reaction R B. Suppose I assume that my support reaction is R B, and second support reaction is my R A. This support reaction R B rotate anti-clockwise. Okay, with respect to this A point, so right here on anti-clockwise side, R B into distance is given six meter, and this given load P is rotated clockwise with respect to this A point. So mention here P, and up to a distance is given eight meter. After simplification, my answer of R B is equal to one point three three P. Now we find out R A. R A is equal to our Total vertical load minus support reaction R B. Now, what is total vertical load? Just now we convert this three kilo newton into P. So write here P. P minus one point thirty three P. And my answer is equal to point thirty three P in negative. So here this R A is actually in down direction. Okay. So mention downward direction point thirty three P. And this support reaction R B is upward, and that is 1.33 P. Now in this method, we make a equation. So first of all, make a table. First, write down segment. Okay, one by one. First, we write down with uh, how many segment are there. Second, we write down origin point. Okay. Third, we write down limit. Fourth, we write down. Equation of moment and last del m x by del p because here we find out deflection. First of all, here two segment are first segment is a b and second segment is c b. So here I take segment from free end a b and second segment is c b. Now origin of segment a b is equal to a. So right here a and origin of this segment c b is equal to c. Okay. Now one by one we write down the limit. Here limit a to b zero to six. So right here limit zero to six because our origin is a point. Now here c to b origin is c point. From this first is zero and up to b two meter. So right here zero to two meter. Now equation of moment and for that one one segment we assume at x. Suppose here I assume this segment as x first. This moment. A B segment rotate anti clockwise direction left hand side anti clockwise minus and equation is equal to our first equation is equal to minus 0.33 P X because 0.33 P X now equation of B C this rotate clockwise but with respect to this B point this is right hand side and right hand side clockwise minus okay if you are forgotten then I mentioned the sign convention clockwise clockwise anti clockwise Plus, minus, minus, plus. Okay, this is our left side. This is our right side. Clockwise is equal to minus. So here we write down minus p into x. Now one by one we differentiate this term. Del m x by del p. In this first term p is given. So minus point thirty three x. 
second p is given okay x now we find out deflection let's see so mention here del c is equal to 1 by ei limit of 0 to l mx and second our differentiation del mx by del p into dx okay now next we put the values in this equation okay now we find out del c okay so mention the first of all equation of del c here what is the equation of del c for uh, classic coulomb theorem 1 del c is equal to 1 by ei okay our first segment limit of 0 to 6 and first segment equation is equal to 0.33 px and del mx by del p is equal to 0.33x okay and dx now our second segment 1 by ei limit of 0 to 2 and minus px and minus x and dx now 1 by 1 1 by ei limit of 0 to 6 multiplication of this two value minus minus plus 1.09 x square and dx plus 1 by ei limit of 0 to 2 and minus minus plus again px square dx now integrate this term 1 by ei okay now here p is given also okay p constant 1.089 and integration of x square is equal to x cube by 3 limit of 0 to 6 plus 1 by ei again p is constant and x cube by 3 and limit of 0 to 2 now 1 by 1 we put the value and after our answer is first term 7.84p divide by ei here we put x is equal to 6 and here we put x is equal to 2 second 2. 67 p by ei now summation of this two value is equal to 10.51 p by ei okay now put value of p p is equal to actual data is given 3 kN now my del c is equal to 10.51 p divide by ei okay 10 0.51 into p is equal to 3 divide by ei and after multiplication 31.53 divide by ei and unit of this numerator is kN meter cube okay this is my final answer of deflection at c because ei is constant here here our example of conjugate uh, cassi coulomb theorem for was first is complete in next session we solve on the example okay